What is going on guys, Joe here, and today we'll be talking about iWork and iCloud. So if you see here, I'm actually logged in through my web browser on iCloud.com, logged in using my Apple ID, and then now we are able to actually have pages, numbers, and Keynote. So basically what iWork and iCloud is, you're able to work on documents, even Excel spreadsheets, and PowerPoint straight on a web browser. Today I'm using Safari, it's also compatible in Internet Explorer and Google Chrome, but those they do say it does have some bugs going on because it still is in beta. So your best bet is to try it out on Safari. So it's available on Windows as well, not only on Mac. So let's go ahead and take a look at Pages. That's what we'll be talking about today. Now Pages, if you're not familiar with it, it basically it's a Word document application, but we're able to work on it straight on the web browser, which is pretty convenient and nice. So here I already created a document, but let's go ahead and create a new one real quick. Create a document here and now we are able to choose a template if you want to choose a template but we're gonna go ahead and choose a blank document here and then you do get a new little window pop up here and now you're able to work on a document straight on the web browser so here I'm gonna go ahead and type in this is a test on iWork for iCloud and Joel so here I went ahead and typed in some text. Now let's go ahead and take a look at what you're able to do with the text. If you go here on the right side, we have a column saying text, and then you're able to change the paragraph style right here. And also you're able to change the font. So you're able to change it between these, probably there's probably about 30 fonts right here. And you can change the type of font, regular, light, oblique, light, oblique, bold, bold oblique and here we're able to bold underline and all that good stuff on here and we're able to change the font size font color alignment line spacing and all that good stuff right here so you get I mean the basics of a text document on the web browser version of pages here we have text shape and image so if we select on text you're able to select like or make a little text box here you can place it anywhere just like that and we also can add a shape right here and we are able to even add an image let me go ahead and delete this text here um, we can add an image from our computer by choosing an image here but what's cool about this is I'm gonna go ahead and drag a file or an image straight from my desktop onto the document right here so you see there I'm able to move it anywhere and I'm gonna go ahead and select all here and we will go ahead and copy and paste all this. So you see there, you're able to move this anywhere and still have all your text and everything. You can make it look pretty cool. I mean, adds diff different images if you like and all that good stuff. And then here, if we have the image selected, you're able to change the image a little bit by maybe adding a little uh, reflection at the bottom, which looks pretty cool, and add even a border you can change the line, all that good stuff, a shadow. So you're able to do quite a bit of things on the browser version of Pages, which is pretty awesome. You can use this on the computer, any computer, Windows or Mac, and I think it's pretty legit. So if you see back here, it actually is saving while I'm working on the document. So it basically has an auto save type of thing going on, and I think that is pretty awesome. So if we go up here to the top right, of the window where we're working on our document you're able to share it you can choose tools here some little guides and all that stuff and you can throw some feedback as well but let's go ahead and hit share so you see here you're able to choose a format when you want to send it via iCloud mail you're able to choose a format from pages PDF or even a Word document so I think this is pretty awesome I think this is a good idea from Apple uh, coming out with a web browser um, version of iWork. So if you do actually have pages installed on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, you will be able to see these uh, documents that are automatically uploaded across all your devices. Also, another cool thing that you're able to do on Pages for iCloud is drag and drop documents that are on your computer. So for instance, here's a document I had up laying on my desktop. I went ahead and dragged it into this browser here and you see there there's test for iWork and iCloud that's what I named it 
and I'm able to open that up once it's uploaded you see here let's go ahead and open this up real quick and it should open up here in a second but I think that is pretty nice to actually have as well there it goes this is a test document for iWork for iCloud but anyways guys that's gonna be it for pages for iCloud uh, a little quick overview of it I want to give you a little hands-on and see what you can do with all this stuff on pages for iCloud let me know in the comment section below what your thoughts are on pages for iCloud also I'm gonna be uh, covering numbers and keynote on separate videos so be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're not yet subscribed but anyways go ahead and hit that like button if you did like this video not only helps me but it supports the channel as well and if you're not following me on any of my social networks like Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, or Instagram, links will be down below. And if you feel like being awesome, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified when I come out with all of my future videos, including numbers and keynote for iCloud. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all on my next videos. All right. Peace.